Hey everyone, welcome to The Dish. I'm your host, Anna Christina. Thank you so much for tuning in. You picked a great Friday. It's first Friday. You know what that means. Mr. John Holden is joining me on set. What's going on? Listen, I'm excited. The weather's cooled down. Right? You know, I'm still wearing my shorts, but it's still one of those situations where I'm just like, <laughs> you know, it feels good It feels good, out here. good outside, very good, right? Very good. And obviously, Halloween is coming up. Is it too soon? No. Reva no hooked us so up with some mm. pumpkins. I think it looks great. Yes. <laughs> I love Halloween. You did a great job. Yes, yeah, my dad's birthday. But before we talk about Halloween, we have to talk about something else. What's that? It's National Cookie Month, y'all. So just an excuse for us to eat cookies on air. <laughs> Speaking of trick or treat. C is for cookie, and cookie is for me. <laughs> well, Set that you are going to have some cookies, and we're going to play a cooking guessing, cooking? A cookie, a cooking game. Guessing cookie, game. Cookie. There you go. Say that 10 times. Mm -hmm. So you have to guess which cookies are what. I can't Isn't wait. Isn't that fun? Yep. So let's kick things off. You, you try right. that one. Listen, I'm not going to eat them on air. Uh, <laughs> or maybe I should. I already know which ones are which. I'm guessing. So you have to guess. Oh, wait. How long have these been out here? Kind of. They're fresh. This is a joke, Reba. <laughs> mm. Peanut what butter. Peanut Pe butter. Peanut butter. But cookies. even better, Reese's. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Next. Okay. Can you chew that fast? I'm going to work on it. Because I can't. Mm. Okay. Oh. oh man, I'm sorry. Oh. They were warm. <laughs> 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 the tooth back here. I'm good. Hang on, hang on. I'm good. You cracked your tooth? I'm, yep. But I bet I work it out. I wiggle it back and I feel the one more. Hey, they didn't bit. get a they didn't get <clears throat> a soft batch. <laughs> All right, one more, one more. What? Which? What was your guess? Hard. <laughs> the hard cookie, whatever this one was, it's hard. It's okay. sugar cookie. All right. <laughs> one more. Mm, okay, this is a big one. Um, Hopefully not as hard. <laughs> mm, uh, mm, mm, peanut butter. No, that's chocolate chip. I mean chip. peanut butter and chocolate chip. Basic. No, mm -mm, you're wrong. Okay. okay. Anyways, <laughs> just an excuse to eat cookies. Wasn't they so good? Mm -hmm. So do you have any plans for Halloween? Yes. Speaking of treats. Honestly, now I'm just in the zone where I just like sit out, yeah. sit outside, give out candy. Just do you dress up? Not anymore. I used to. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Back in the day. We've dressed up. I love dressing up. I think it's mm, fun. Sometimes it depends. Yeah? You know, just not, not a lot of good costumes for, you know, me. I don't, you know, <laughs> just, just doesn't work out too good for me. So I said, no. Listen, my husband comes up with the craziest things. We were, um, last year, a biker family. Mm -hmm. And I had tattoos all over myself. I had to put them all over myself. Oh, did Pretty you bring neat. pictures? Yes. Take a look. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Oh. <laughs> I'm tattooed. Now okay. you know what I look like with a bunch of tattoos on my arm. That's right. We were also Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. A little family of, well, not wizards, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Dorothy, the Tin yes. Man, the And lion. then I was a scarecrow one year, last minute, and I painted my face. Oh, wow. I did it myself. Are you proud okay. of me? Yeah, because I mean, I know you can do it. She puts on her own makeup. So that's right. She had it down hey, what are you, hey, what are you trying to say? I'm saying I know you can do it. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so when is it time to stop trick or treating? Ooh, uh, 14 years old. Really? I mm -hmm. think never. I'm giving you some leeway, guys. I'm giving you some leeway. Yeah. Get some candy. Yeah. Well, and listen, if you're going to be giving out candy, I know that candy is expensive. But give more than one, because these poor kids are going to be out there. You don't want them out there forever trying to collect. Of course. Going to ten houses and they only have ten candies. Also, this just my be pet generous. peeve. My pet peeve. Listen, when you take your child trick or treating, do it the old school way. Yeah. Both leave the house, walk, have them go down the block, yeah. come back, and that's it. Stop putting your kids in a car. Every car. Everybody <laughs> Every goes house. up an increment. Ten kids jump out. <laughs> you have to wait for those. Then another ten kids jump out yeah. of the car that's in back of there. It's a pain Well, sometimes. it also creates, well, the traffic, but also some dangers because it's dark and yeah. kids are running back and, and forth in the street. you got traffic in the middle of the street. Park right. on the so side, get out with the kids. Take a little walk. Take a walk. Right. Yeah. So hopefully the weather will be really good then. Mm -hmm. And then you can just hang out with your kids outside, like you said, the old school way. That's right. That's okay, it's big. also do something nice day, today. All right. So if you're going to think about doing something nice, out of the entire year, I guess you could do it today. No, you should do it every day. Yes, definitely. <laughs> but I wanted to highlight something because I thought this was really cool. Um, we found this on EternallySunny.com. And a world-class marathon runner, she slows down to help a disabled man drink water, sacrificing 
sacrificing the prize for finishing first place. So races are obviously are usually run to win by people who mm -hmm. are there. Um, they're competitive and they want to win. So she is the exception to the rule. We actually have a picture of it. I think that was so cool. Very she sweet. put her winning aside to help somebody that was in need. To get water, right? Yeah, to get water. They usually have teams of people that follow them also right. on bikes. Right. She could so have kind of got the water from somebody else, gave them the water, and no. continued to run. Am I, am I not just killing it here? Yes, not, you are. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Be nice, Dad. That's what we want to say. Do something nice. So if but you. Also win. What? Win. Listen. Okay. You're messed up. All right. So he's not doing something nice today. So that <laughs> is confirmed. Just Listen. fun, just in fun, just in fun. You guys don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're going to be telling you what is going on in the community. Plus, we're going to be choosing our birthday winners. Yes. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to The Dish. I'm Anna. And I'm Holden. What's going on? Everything, all these events we right? got going on. we got to share it with the people. Right. We're about to tell you what is happening. It is Community Connection Events. And I'll just go ahead and kick things off. Please. So coming up this weekend, actually it started yesterday, is Disney on Ice. They're presenting Worlds of Enchantment. It goes all the way through the 7th. So it's going to be happening at the James Brown Arena. So if you want to get tickets, you can go to the thejamesbrownarena.com. And listen, also, we got the best of Augusta, Tuesday, October the 9th at 7 p.m. It's at the Sacred Heart Cultural Center mm -hmm. with great food, restaurants, along with other best businesses at the annual celebration. Sounds For tickets, yummy. go to CitySpinTickets.com. Mmm, sounds yummy. Lots of food. Listen, I'm just hungry. I feel like we've eaten a lot in the past couple months on air. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next up is Harlem Fun Fest. Get this, it's happening Saturday, October 13th at Harlem High School. And this is a really cool part. They're going to attempt to break the world record for most number of people thumb wrestling. Oh, really? Yes. The okay. uh, current record is 957 people held by Osaka, Japan. So, y'all, if y'all want to be a part of the Guinness Book of World Records, head on out there. There's also going to be craft vendors. Um, lip sync battle for cash prizes, lots of other stuff, outdoor movies. Uh -huh. It's going to be a lot of fun. So if you need more information, get it from the person whose info is on the screen. <laughs> That's right. Hey, listen, also we got the Art of Chocolate. That'll be Friday, October the 19th from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. at the Doubletree by mm -hmm. Hilton Hotel. Sorry. Uh, hosted by the Child Enrichment for tickets, go to childenrichment.org. There you go. And last but not I'm least, struggling. the Riverfront. <laughs> you're struggling there? Can't see. The Riverfront Theater Company is presenting Greater Tuna October 12th. And that's happening at 7.30 p.m. at the North Augusta High School Auditorium. If you want tickets, go to naartcouncil.ticketleap.com. There you go. Yep, sounds like we got a lot of things Lots of cool going things on. happening, right? Mm -hmm. So... It is time to pick our birthday winner, but okay. before we do that, we have oh, a couple this. of shout-outs that were sent to us. Okay. This one's really cool. So, shout-out to Carrie Wimberly. She turned 100 years old. She um, is from Appling, Georgia, mm -hmm. or she was actually born in Appling, Georgia. She enjoys gospel network television sitting out front on her porch and visiting with family and friends. Most important and she thing. has grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and great-great-grandchildren. So five generations of family. So they sent it in. So isn't that awesome? Very awesome. We also have another one, Lila, who's turning nine. Your godfather sent that in. It's also his oh, birthday. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So in his name, I just want to give a shout out to him as Rex. So thank you, Rex, for sending that in. Oh, one shout out for me? Yes. I'm going to give a big shout out to my aunt. Mm-hmm. My other aunt and my, I'm like, I'll say her name. And your other, oh, okay. okay. I'm like, okay. Two aunts and, Two and my dad and my uncle Reggie. And I've got to say his name because he's one of my favorite uncles. And my uncle Scotty out there <laughs> Texas. So you don't want to say the other aunts, but you will say your uncle's name. Doesn't matter about his identity. Yeah, I'm just saying. Two aunts, I love them, but they were <laughs> kind of mean to me. All right, let's pick our winner. Look at our little cauldron here. Okay. Ready? I'm going to do the little magic. Go, ready, hurry. Okay. Happy birthday to who? Find out if it's you. You, this time. Okay. Come on. And it, it of course. Of course. Uh, uh, Listen, Dal Dalton, we might mess this up, but it's <laughs> Dalton. Dalton. Hurt. 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 Hurt.
Well, happy birthday to you. He's turning eight years old. Oh, very I'm sorry sweet. if we messed up your name, but listen, uh, we'll contact you soon so you can come pick up your swag bag over here at Television Park. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. When we come back, we have our Community Connection champion, plus the Marines, and we're talking about females in the Marines. We'll be right back.